And let's pray so much for Uganda. There is the hardest time in the politics. You have never been in this kind of situation ever since Uganda got independence. There is a hard time in politics that is coming. You have never been in this kind of life ever since independence. It is just coming. <clears throat> I talked about economy. That everything will be hard for Ugandans. Now the World Bank withdraw its support. They, are not even, uh, they cannot even support Uganda. World Bank. What are you expecting? <clears throat> it was like last year or last year but one when I talked about economy. That would be too much for this country. People will be poor. The poor will become poor. And those who are rich, they will become very rich. I said 85% Ugandans will be poor. Only 15% will be rich. Where are we going right now? Maybe someone who cannot see is the one who can come out and start uh, arguing is a prophecy. A prophecy means a prophecy. Someone can come and say, please, prophet, explain these words. There's no way I can explain a prophecy. I said the Ugandans will be poor. 85% Ugandans will be poor. Only 15% will be rich. You wait when tax, everything, the price will raise, school fees will be too much, everything, its price will raise. So I pray in the name of Jesus Christ. This is the, this is the time. I said everything will be, it will be too much for Uganda. Economy will be, oh my God. There will be crisis in economy as we will be also heading to the hardest political time ever, ever since Uganda got independence. It will be the hardest time ever. So let's pray in the name of Jesus Christ. God to give us the grace as a country, the citizens to receive the coverage of the Holy Spirit in Jesus' mighty name. Sometimes, as I was, there's a day when I was speaking about the thing, someone was like, that cannot happen, blah, blah. It cannot happen, really. If I am a prophet, I can see things which are coming. Me, I'm not a preacher. A preacher is the one who preaches things to make people happy. May I bring things which are direct from heaven. I was in nothing, 2009. That's when a prophet prayed for me. A man of anointing touched on my head and the things changed. So you who are listening to me, no matter where you are, either you may be in the bank, you may be in a, a teacher, you may be a nurse or a doctor, you may be a housemaid, you may be a security guard, you may be in the army, you may be the police. Things are to be hard for you. So that be the statement. Things are to be hard for you. Salaries, there will be deduction in salaries. Deductions in salaries and the delays. So let's pray for those who are uh, who are working in uh, in public institutions. Things that be hard for you. Hallelujah. So I pray in Jesus' mighty name, God to give us the grace to remain on truth to remain praying for one another in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah.